our series of interviews at the OpenStack PTG in Denver. And my next interview is with Rico, who is on the Heat team. So could you uh, start by introducing yourself? Tell us what, what company you're with and, and uh, uh, you know, a high level interview of what Heat is for those that are not familiar. Okay. So hi, I'm uh, Rico Ling and I'm the current uh, Queen's PTL. And uh, I now work at the Easy, Easy Stack. Uh, so for, for people who don't know what Heat is, Heat is the orchestration services for OpenStack. And basically what we do is that we uh, are manage, managing resources and uh, manage the, the uh, life cycle of those resources that you create. And uh, we have like a lot of uh, uh, interesting use cases that around here that they doing deploy the Kubernetes cluster, they doing uh, deploy a network cluster. So it depends on what you what you requiring in your cloud. And basically, uh, when you talk about you want to create something that in scale, that I will believe he is the services for you. And uh, uh, right now uh, there is a. There is a, a lot of a uh, new uh, new uh, project or uh, like Mac now using Heat, Sahara using Heat. So yeah, that, that's basically what Heat do. It, well, we we are like we are the basic one of the basic orchestration services, and we trying to trying to manage the entire cluster in the, for your OpenStack resources. So you don't have to take too much operations or times that uh, cross all your OpenStack clouds and, and do. Do those uh, works that you don't you don't want to uh, operate manually? Uh, like uh, it's like uh, for optimize that you can do just one operation. You just just do uh, open stack stack create, then it will do all the magic for you. And you do a stack delete, then you will remove all the resources with it, also with the dependency. So you don't have to 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 do too much manual work and that will reduce a lot of uh, a lot of the mistake and that will that will help to stable the entire project. So yeah that's what basically what he does. So we're just a couple weeks out past the uh, Pike release. Tell us what new functionality, what new interesting things happened in Pike in the Heat project. Yeah. We have very uh, good news in the Pike release that we, we will say from Pike, actually, we do a lot of backport from Pike to Okata even to Newton. So, as some might know that Heat has a, a new resource like what we call it uh, convergence. And what convergence does, if you don't know, what convergence does is uh, is to uh, distri distribute all your tasks into across all your uh, Heat services. So you you can like create uh, your all your resources. Like you have a hundred resource, it might just using hundred a hundred of uh, heat uh, engines to to create all those services, which will be very uh, very great in, the, in, the, in performance. And what in Pike is that we we have done a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stable fix. I mean, we, we we trying to figure out where is the missing pieces. I mean, where is uh, incompatible of, of the any place for the new design. I mean, for convergence design. So the news in Pike will be uh, we make convergence. I would say we make convergence really stable. So uh, it must be very comfortable for users to adopt uh, convergence in Pike and Okata. And for other resources that we also have very exciting uh, new resources like you have a Magnum cluster, you have a Tron, Tron Cat, you have a Zone resources as well. You also can do the neutron segment, so uh, we, we have a lot of new resource, and one of those uh, will be very interesting is we have a new resource, we call it a custom, customized resource, which uh, is uh, using uh, Mistral to, to uh, allow user operators to have their own uh, resource type, which they can define by flow that how to create the, the, the resource, how to manage how to update how to delete and uh, like you can have a totally different workflow uh, depends on what your current environments are so it will be 
a very dynamic and still that's a very strong uh, feature. And we also have we also have a uh, actually we also have a, a, a exciting way to to make your uh, environment more consistent is that we have right now we if you're using the API to code uh, stake update, you can add in a, a, a tag called uh, converge. And that tag will help you to to enable to when updating enable it will it will detect the the reality of the current resource you're trying to update. So it, it will make you like uh, for example if you're trying to update a, a, a Nova that maybe you didn't maybe inside your inside your template you didn't you didn't touch the flavor, you didn't touch the key maybe, but in some some way that user trying to do it privately, right? The user might secretly uh, change the key without notify heat, but with a new feature that uh, he should he should um, he should uh, we should we should able to observe the reality and we find out okay the what you're trying to update this instance you're trying to up update others but we, we observe the reality is that your key has been modified so we will modify we will trigger an update to modify back uh, in long term that we uh, we we looking forward maybe to have like uh, very consist and uh, a real time. Uh, uh, manage for, for any resources that uh, you don't have is is like you don't have to put your hand inside anymore. But for now, it, you can like you can hide using the update commands, and it, it will it will help you to like make sure the resource you create is exactly what you want to create or what you want to update. So it will help uh, for a stack update. So uh, definitely can try it on, and it's it is uh, it is a. It is a new feature from uh, we think we we done a lot of things in uh, in Okata and Pike. So uh, I I would say it uh, it it might still have some uh, uh, I would say uh, maybe bug, but we try to make it that strong strong enough to stable enough as we can. So we we will keep continue doing that in the uh, in next cycle. So yeah, the the convergence is the convergence is one of the same. So basically, these are the uh, new update for uh, for the pike. We're still, of course, early in the week at the PTG, yeah. but uh, do you have a sense of where you'll be focusing for the Queen's cycle? What, what we should, what we what we will definitely do is that the two communities go the uh, the policy in code and the uh, ten pass plugin. We already started to discuss about it, and we'll definitely do it. Uh, we hope to end it in Queens. And the uh, also the uh, the converge the converge flag for the API code uh, should definitely be landed at the early queen. I mean the I mean the uh, the common line way to to add in the tag should will definitely be adding in the early queen. I think. Also, uh, we we have uh, a lot of uh, cross uh, project discussions with like Mac now Sahara. They have some. Uh, very great feedback on how to do things in cluster. So that, that might be one thing that we will focus in the next cycle. We will have, uh, uh, I, will, I will try maybe uh, try to find out where is the missing pieces for clustering the entire uh, heat resources. And what, what we also uh, will possibly do is that uh, we will have a discuss about the uh, uh, stack barrier I mean the the the, uh, uh, the dependencies cost stacks or the dependency cost resources. So that might that uh, if we if the discussion this week turn out well, there might be something that we can uh, looking forward in the next cycle. And also uh, right now we already done some uh, nice job in uh, rolling upgrade. Uh, so we are right now trying to apply for the tag. And I, I, I think I assume that will be then in Queens. I, I assume, and I also we have a, a, a some members that trying to focus on the Horizon plugin, um, with very cool the uh, new feature like drop in and drop out. We should be get great a lot of uh, uh, improvements of all those above stuff, and of course that we need a lot of feedback, and uh, we hope to have more people to join and. If you like think that some feature is missing and you want to see in the queens, so you definitely should help us 
in any way, uh, we, we, we welcome any kind of, uh, of uh, help that we will be uh, very uh, grateful. So that brings me to my final question. If somebody wants to help, if somebody wants to find out more about your project, yeah. where do they do that? Oh, well, the, the very first thing, and we were always open, is that you, uh, you're trying to grab one of the core. Uh, you're trying to pin us on IRC, and you can always, like in uh, 24 hours, trying to find me in any way, in any format that you, you can do. And we always welcome any, any like, uh, we welcome users to have their user stories and operators to provide their experience, uh, developer to help on develop and uh, reviews. Uh, so you can just come to the heat project, like if you want to file a bug, just do it. You want to file a, a blueprint, they will, they will be fine. And you can always find, I, I, I think you can always find people in our IRC channel. And if you can't, that you can using whatever the way you have to to reach the our core members and 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 when any any like uh, missing pieces or or you, you say it's like you think maybe that there's some shit there there is some shitty work that uh, he has done and shouldn't do you can just also come to us and and throw your uh, uh, minds and we will definitely help. So we also have a IRC meeting every weekly. So there's uh, also not a nice place to, to get people to, to join to, to talk about what you are thinking. So yeah, that uh, uh, whatever the way you think, we, we welcome anyone to help. Thank you very much. And yeah, thank appreciate you. your time and good luck throughout the rest of the week at meetings. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot.